stars, well, reach for them. Um, before I get started, I'd like to say I had an outline originally made, and like two days ago, I had ripped it up because I had prayed to God to ask him how should I give my speech, and he told me not to use it like I'm trying to get a grade, but like I'm trying to help my friend out and trying to help him out to be more successful. First, I'm going to give you other information on my topic. Now, I'm going to try to persuade y'all to try to get a deeper understanding of how to work towards to be successful. First, what is being successful? 64% of the class said to be successful is being happy with life. 42% of the class said it's being financially stable. Both of those are true. According to Dictionary Online, to be successful is to succeed in one endeavors or marked by a favorable outcome. I'm here to tell you that to be successful is a privilege. And it's a process to be successful. The road to success is not going to be easy and never will be. Anything easy is not worth having. Um, the, the road is going to consist of pain, sacrifices, hardships. I ain't going forever, but it's how you deal with those burdens and overcome adversity when you truly reach the max potential of what we know as success. First, you have to uh, realize that failure is the key to success. You're going to have to make some sacrifices in life, and you have to change your work ethic to be successful. How many of y'all have failed some part of your life already? For like in something. Usually, you're introduced to failure around the age of 6 and 12, sometimes in school, mostly in athletics. According to the New York Times, the power of positive coaching, a guy named Jim Thomas, a Stanford professor in 1998, came with this program to show relentless positivity to children. As a child, if you're not introduced to failure, not introduced to the life lessons that it, it can teach you, you grow up to think that failure is wrong, but it's really not. In the PCA program, it shows that each child has an emotional tank, and when you drain the emotional tank from a child, they start to hear everything you say is criticism. <coughs> the PCA program shows a magic ratio, which the ratio is 5 to 1. So on five, you should say five positive things to a child, one negative thing, to order to balance out the positivity and negativity. Another New York Times article, what is the secret to success is failure. Failure builds character. That goes to one of my other favorite quotes with by Winston Churchill. Success is going from failure to failure without using your enthusiasm. I mean, how many times I've failed in my life, I'm just giving 110% of everything I do because that's just how I've been raised. And I've noted that failure is the not the kryptonite to my success. <laughs> um, the next vital point to success is sacrifices. A lot of people think about sacrifices. You think about uh, losing friends, but not necessarily. Because the uh, big success online says you should give up weight, attitude, sleep, and bad habits. So attitude and sleep is what I mainly want to talk about because attitude, your attitude can make or break you. Attitudes such as you going into an interview and someone beside you have a better resume, they went to some Ivy League school, they're dressed better than you, but it doesn't matter. When you think to yourself that I'm not going to get this job because this person is better than me, well, of course you're not going to get the job because your mindset is not in the right place. You don't know what the person behind them doors is looking for, so you shouldn't think that way. Sleep. Sleep and tiredness. When most of y'all get tired, you tend to give up. If you're studying for a long test and you get tired, you don't. You don't want to complete studying even though you ain't got the knowledge that you need to do the test. I'm here to tell you that you should be able to work after one hour, two hours, or three hours of sleep. You should be able to be afraid of sleep in some sort because you think that when you go to sleep, someone's going to have the opportunity to pass you in successfulness. Um, 50 Cent right here, he's a rapper, and he made a movie called Get Rich or Die Trying, and he also made the soundtrack to Get Rich or, Rap Get Rich or Die Trying. He had an interview with some lady and they said, since you're doing so much, we don't have time to sleep. He told them that sleep is for people that are broke. He said he has a little opportunity to make a dream a reality. He's not going to let sleep pass it up. Any football fans know that Emmitt Smith, right there, he's a Hall of Famer. In 1993, they won the Super Bowl. And he had a commercial out where he was lifting weights. He was bench pressing. And the, the camera came in his face while he was bench pressing. He said, I just won the NFL Super Bowl, the highest thing you can win in the NFL. And he said, now nah, I can rest, but at the top of his thing, you know, when you bench press, you rest at the top. He rest for two seconds, and he got right back to work because he felt like he didn't want nobody else to pass him up in his work ethic. Even though he didn't want the highest achievement award in the field, he felt like someone could pass him up. That means my next topic, which is work ethic. Will Smith, one of my favorite actors, he doesn't believe, he had an interview with a CBS 60 Minutes, and he 
with Steve Craft, and he doesn't believe that he's the best actor, the best writer, the best rapper. He said what sets him apart from anybody is that his work ethic is sickening. While he's, his friends was out partying, he was out working. While his friends was out drinking, he was out taking acting classes. While his friends was out smoking, he was trying to work on his rap game. Because he felt like, even though he wasn't the best at what he did, he can pass up someone that's better than him and his talent-wise. Which Kevin Durant said the best, Howard beat talent, but talent doesn't want to work hard. You can have all the talent in the world, but the someone beside you has different motives and want to want to succeed better than you do, then they have most likely a chance to pass you up in life. Um, before I leave, I have a, for my conclusion, I have a story that my grandfather used to always tell me. It was a story about a boy and a guru. And the boy looked up to the guru, he wanted to be just like the guru. The guru was successful, he was happy in life, financially stable, like some of y'all said. He was very successful. And the boy asked him, he said, I want to be just like you. How can I be successful just like you? So the guru said, if you truly want to be successful, you'll meet me by the beach at 4 o'clock in the morning. So the boy met him out on the beach. He was dressed up in his finest suit at 4 o'clock in the morning. He said, if you want to be successful, walk up me to the water. So the boy walked with him out to the water, came waist deep. The boy thinks to himself, I'm trying to be successful. I'm trying to make money. I ain't trying to be a lifeguard. <laughs> so the boy walked out more with the guru. He said, you want to be successful, walk out to me. And he came out to his neck. The boy thinks to himself, this is crazy. So he started to walk by. And the guru asked him, I thought you want to be successful. He said, I do. He said, come back. So the minute he came back, the guru shoved his face on the water to the point where he almost was about to pass out. And so I answered this question, at the moment in time, that time underwater, what do you want to do more than anything in the world? Why are you underwater and you're about to pass out? So I decided to breathe. He let him up. He said, the day you want to see this bad, you want to breathe, then you truly be successful. The day you want to breathe as bad as you want to, the day you want to succeed as bad as you want to breathe, then you truly be successful. I'm here to tell you today that failure is the key to success, sacrifice is the key to success, and work ethic is the key to success. You should never settle at any moment. <coughs> you should have that drive in you, in your self motives to be successful. No one should have to pay you to do what you love to do. If you do it to your best of your abilities, then everything else will fall in place. Thank you.